Hi, this is Sandy from Quilters Attic Sewing Center in Pine Bush, New York. Today I wanted to talk to you about some bag kits that we have. Um, when we uh, recently did our quilting cruise, we had Sally Tomato as our teacher and we did a lot with Cork and a lot of her projects. So we went ahead and brought home a lot of different uh, patterns, hardware, um, zippers, uh, and, and kits, and Cork, all kinds of stuff. So one of the projects that we have is the ginger bag and this is the only one I had a sample of. If you come to our shop you all know Dolores and Dolores did go ahead and make this. So this is the ginger bag. This is cork as well as the top and then it opens up and you have a cotton lining inside. Okay so this was all done using cork and what's really nice about that is you probably can't see but if you look up real close by the zipper that is all raw edge. You don't have to turn cork like we do with traditional fabrics. So this is a really fun way um, to make some bags that get done rather quickly. It even has an adjustable strap. Okay. So you can shorten it, lengthen it to whatever works for you. The, the, um, there's hardware on here so that slides right off. So they're really nice projects and like I said that is the ginger bag. So if you'd like a kit for that the kit comes with a full pattern, so you can make that again and again. It comes with the zipper that you need, the two pieces of cork that we used, as well as an entire hardware kit in the gold color. That is a really nice pattern. With the kits, we have a couple other ones. We have the Ferris, which a lot of people are using now as the fanny pack, so that comes with cork the zippers you need, and again, all the hardware. Okay, so these are really nice projects. And the last one we have a pattern for is the zippy bag. Okay, so if you look up close, the zippy bag has a couple of zippers. And that kit comes three different ways. It comes with the cork with silver. Okay, so the cork is very thin, it's not thick. It, it truly is cork. Cork's not just used in wine bottles, we can uh, sew with it. So it's real nice, real easy to work with. And this one, like I said, comes with silver. And then all the hardware you're going to use is silver. So you see the zipper tape is silver. Zipper poles are silver. We also have it with rose gold. So you can see the hardware is rose gold, the zipper teeth are rose gold, and your cork has the rose gold in it rather than the silver. And the final one we have for that is, is a gold. So this is much more gold with gold zipper teeth and gold hardware. Okay. Now these zippers are put out by Sally Tomato. They're zippers by the yard. So there's three yards of zipper tape with nine poles inside the bag. And if you notice, these are the antique gold. There are nine different color zippers. So there's purple, there's blue, there's beige, there's um, a natural color, there's black, there's white, and every color she makes, she has five different hardware. So this is the antique, there's the gold, there's a nickel, which is silver, there is um, rose gold, so there's all different ones. And these work really nice because if you need for a tote bag, a couple short zippers for um, interior pockets or short ones on the outside, and then a long one for the top of the bag, you can just purchase three yards of it and put the zipper pulls on as you need. Okay. So I wanna show you how to put the zipper pulls on. It's nice and easy after you've done it a few times. Okay, so you can see I just pull this to the length I need. If I need just a, a nine inch zipper, I pull the zipper pull down here and then I cut the nine inches that I need. I pull up my next zipper pull and I just keep doing that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I suggest when you when you buy it, go ahead and put all nine zipper pulls on at once because you'll use them. Okay. So the zipper pull goes on easiest from the end right here. You're going to take the pull, slide it on one end of the zipper tape. I know it's kind of hard to see, but one end of the zipper tape. Then you take the other end of the zipper tape, slide that into your zipper. Okay. It's hard to do here. I'm sorry. I'm used to working on my lap. Okay, so now both ends are on here. I could just go ahead and pull the zipper pull on, but before I do that, I wanna make sure that the teeth actually are running in the track of the zipper pull and not trying to sneak out on the outside. So these look good. I'm gonna pull this other one down. This should pull on pretty easily. 
once I get those teeth in there. Oops, that happens sometimes. Okay, so now I've got that on. So you just go ahead and pull all your zipper pulls on and cut them to the length that you need. So that is a really neat way to do zippers. Again, you have 108 inches, so you can do large tote bags, small tote bags, all kinds of bags. And this, again, the tape comes in nine colors with the zipper, the zipper teeth and pulls coming um, in five different finishes. So there's 45 different options if you, if you want and whatever you need. Okay, now these teeth look metal. They are not, they are a nylon. So it works really nice. You can sew right over them. If you have a serger, you can serge right over them. They look like metal, but they are not. So that is really, really neat. Okay. Two more things I wanna show you real quick is, is um, the hardware. You can, again, get it in all different five colors, but they come in packages. So for the bags that you wanna make, you can just purchase the hardware that you need. There's also some really adorable little things that go on and I'm gonna to try to get it up close. They say handmade, I don't know if you can see that, the glare, um, but those are really cute. And these go on, do you see that there's little clips, clasps right here? You're gonna put a hole in your cork or your fabric, whatever you use, and push that in and pr um, pry them back. This is called a rotary punch. And it, you just slide this around to determine what size hole you want to make in your fabric. Okay, so you can make little holes rather than trying to punch through it with a scissor or a seam ripper and making a mistake. These little um, put holes in it, it's very similar to a hole punch, but it will go through cork and it will go through your batting. Now this is the um, soft and stable that's called for in some of the patterns. It gives your bag some support so they don't fall down. It, it gives them some nice body. You can just go ahead and put this rotary punch, your cork, your batting, whatever you have. You should hear it click. Okay. When I take it off, can you see? I'll show you from the back side. There's a hole there. So now all I would do if I were using something with the, um, gonna slide that in here, that in here, pry both of them back, and now I have a handmade label on my bag or whatever I'm making. So really, really neat. What I like with the hardware is there's a package of bag feet. Okay, and I'll show you one up close. I like to put these on the bottom of, I dropped it, on the bottom of tote bags. So when I set it down on the table or on wherever I set it, it does not, um, the bottom doesn't get dirty and ruined. So this is one right here. Again, that just goes through the hole I made. And then we're going to open them up. So the bag foot, you kind of can't see it, but it's it's on there. And that works real nice when you set your bag down on a table, it protects it. There are a lot of different patterns. Most of them are tote bags. So this is one, we have them all on our website, quiltersattic.com. Um, so there's a pattern bag pattern section. There's also the kits section. Um, so I really like this one, the charade. I showed the Lucy. That one I really like. She also has um, cat napper, puppy pillow. Those are cute. They're not bags, but they're adorable as well. But there's a lot, a lot, a lot of different patterns. So again, it's quiltersattic.com on the shop now tab. You can look under the kits, of course, for the kits with the cork or under the patterns for the patterns. Um, the zippers are all in there under notions. So you can look around, you can find all different kinds of things. Now, one last thing, with the cork, um, you really can't pin through it because you will poke holes in it. Uh, so what I recommend if you're using the cork is the Wonder Clips. We talk about these all the time. They just clip right on. They hold your cork, they hold your lining, whatever you need to hold together as you're sewing. Okay, so those are really neat. So again, we have the three kits, the Zippy, the Ginger, and the Ferris. And this bag right here is the Ginger Kit. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Again, it's Sandy from Quilters Attic, Pine Bush, New York. You can get any of these items at quiltersattic.com under the shop now tab. Thanks and have a great day.